What's up guys? It's your girl, Mathilde, obviously. And if you didn't know that, that means you're new, so hi, welcome. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a reaction video, and it was a long time since I did my last reaction video. However, this reaction video is going to be kind of different, because today I'm going to react to a transphobic memes. Yes, fun! And if you didn't know, I'm actually transgender. Yes, hopefully I won't be too angry. No, jokes aside, I, I probably won't. I'm kind of chill about life. So I'm just going to get into it right away. And also, before we get into the video, don't forget to follow me on my socials, especially Instagram. You know, fun time, fun time. But now let's get into these offensive memes. So the first one is this one. So this is like a tweet. Trans women are women. Trans women are women. Trans women are women. Yeah, you get the deep. And then someone replies, get pregnant then. Oh my god, I haven't heard that before. Pregnancy doesn't make you a woman. Like, I know women, cis women, they were born biological women and they can't have children. Does that mean that they're not women anymore? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Not really. It's just flawed. And also, it's not funny. I mean, memes should be funny. That is what a meme is. Like, it's something funny. Okay, so this is a women's bathroom and a man says, What's your problem, you little bigot? Haven't you seen a lady pee before? Because they're trans, I guess. Mommy, that's not a lady. Shh, we aren't allowed to speak the truth anymore. Okay, first of all, in public bathrooms, they're all stalls, okay? So you don't see everyone else doing their business. And if you're looking, you're in the wrong. If you're like peeking underneath, looking at their, you know, down parts, you're in the wrong. So don't really see how this is relevant. Second of all, if this person would actually be transgender, this person would be in transitioning and the person is not. And also, trans people suffer from something called gender dysphoria and they don't like to show off what they were born with. You know, they hide their parts until they have had the surgery, if that is something that they want to. I don't really understand this either. <laughs> That seems to be the common thing of these memes. It doesn't make any sense. A trans person in transitioning would never, ever just like be in front of a random person because they would be too uncomfortable doing so because they're not comfortable in their own skin. So I don't understand what's the problem, okay? Yeah, let's move on again. Sir, it's women and children first. Are you transphobic? I identify as a woman. Okay, um, this is kind of funny actually. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but you know, I find this a little bit funny. This is such a common thing to say that trans people just like, I identify as this, I identify as that. Trans people are born in the wrong body. They know for a fact that they were born in the wrong body and they want nothing more than to live as the opposite gender that they were born as. So I was born in a male body. However, I knew from a very young age that that was wrong. Something was so wrong with me. And then when I got older, I I understood that I was transgender and then I transitioned into a woman and I had all my surgeries until I was completely satisfied. And that is for the most part what happened. So this meme is false. I mean, this person is clearly not transitioning and is clearly just saying that they identify as woman to be able to survive the Titanic. <laughs> So yeah, but you know, this meme was at least funny. I mean, it was a little bit funny, not gonna lie. Okay, so next one. The only trans I care about is trans dimensions. So there be a dimension where you're freaks. 
didn't exist. Okay, this is rude. Okay, that's rude. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like, it is a little bit rude, but you know, I don't care. Okay, so again, did I... <laughs> Did I like wake up in a different universe uh, where memes are considered not funny? I've only read one funny meme so far. I have nothing else to say really more than I'd rather be a freak than an idiot, so... That's that. I have a confession. I used to be a Christian. Doesn't worry me, babe. Awesome. I much prefer being a Christine. And then his reaction is like shocked and stunned like he like he's bothered by her being a transgender woman so i don't really agree with her being intimate with a man without telling him first because you know yeah but that is not really the point the point of this meme is him being bothered by that she's transgender. It's kind of like poking fun of transgender women that we're not really women and you know, a man should be happy he could get with me, okay? Because you know, I'm hot. All jokes aside, I just think that it's important to, I'm a woman, like I'm not only a trans woman, but I'm a woman, like period. And I don't think, I don't really see the reason why that would be a problem being intimate with someone that is transgender because you know if they have he didn't even notice he didn't even realize that she was transgender during the act she told him afterwards so why would that really be an issue i don't really see it i mean you you had your fun you were attracted to this girl and you you had it you know you had a great time so why would it really be any different now when you know that she is transgender you can't say that oh i'm not attracted to transgender people you were attracted to her you just did the act obviously you're attracted to her so why would it be any different now when you know that she's transgender but you know i don't really understand transphobic people let's move on uh, if i had a slice of garlic bread for every existing gender Okay, this isn't really funny. I'm, I'm so sorry. First off, I just want to let you know that according to science, there are a lot of different gender identities that you can identify as. However, there are only two that you can have. You can either have a pee pee, a vajayjay, a mix of them both or neither. You can still identify as another gender because gender and your is not really 100% that they will actually match. This is according to science, so you can't really argue with me because, you know, I'm a science teacher. I've studied science in college. Next one. Okay, so here's another one. What trans people think they look like, what they actually look like. Okay, so I don't really understand this. Um, like, are they poking fun of Jeffree Star or are they poking fun of... I, yeah, I don't really understand. Also, Jeffree Star isn't even trans. Like, he's a guy that just wears makeup. He's not trans. That doesn't make you trans. I'm trans. And, you know, this is how trans people look like, so... I don't really understand, honestly, what they actually look like. Or are they trying to make an argument that people are transitioning too soon? Is that is that a joke? <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't really understand this one, to be honest. Like, maybe I'm just like stupid. That Maybe that's it. Maybe all of the hormones that I'm taking are sipping into my brain and like ruining me from the inside. Maybe that's what it's all about. Okay. When you're trans and the club says dollars for women and eight dollars for men, but you gotta pay 14 since you're both. Like, isn't that to charge different depending on what you are? I mean, it's illegal in Sweden. You can't charge different depending on what or gender you are. But that's not the point of this, you know this meme or this meme. The point of this meme is saying that trans people are charged more because we're both, but we're not. We go from one side of the spectrum to another. We transition, like we go from either male to female or female 
to male. So we're either we transition. So, you know, this doesn't make any sense either, but let's move on. Now I'm going to react to the last meme for today before I end this video and revalue everything I just saw. Not old enough to choose own bedtime or daily diet, but old enough to choose to be trans or gender fluid or non-binary or dot dot dot. <laughs> okay, you don't really choose to be trans. I mean, you're born to be trans or you're born to not be trans. When I was just like, at the age of three years old, I, I understood that some something was wrong with me, but I didn't really I didn't really put words to my thoughts, if if that makes sense. So you don't really choose to be transgender. That is just something that happens. You're born as it, and then you you know you understand that you're born in the wrong body. And also, if you are trans, I mean if you tell your parents that I am trans, I was born in the wrong body. You're not put on hormone replacement therapy right away because children don't have hormones in their bodies yet. Children that are transgender don't go through hormone replacement therapy. There are so many rules. First off, you will need to meet a psychologist that will actually determine if you're trans or not. So, or it is like that in Sweden, like we go through a long process that take years and we meet different psychologists and doctors. They will have to de determine if you're trans or not. And if you are trans, then you will start going on hormone replacement therapy when you're at the age of 15 years old. So please don't spread misinformation about the trans community if you don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, that was all of the memes, memes that I'm going to react to today. They were not really funny. Um, if you're a transphobe watching this right now, please make a funny meme. If you're going to make a meme about the trans community, at least make it funny. Make me laugh. Okay, but yeah, I think that was the entire video and if you liked the video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe and also hit the little bell icon to get future notifications whenever I post. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!